Just a few weeks ago, I was uh, out in Saskatchewan speaking at a women's conference. It was amazing. We just saw literally hundreds of women say yes to Jesus. We saw people come to the Lord. We saw people being set free. It was amazing. And I just had thought, what a privilege it is to be able to share the good news. It wasn't just me. It was a whole bunch of us that shared. But as I got on the airplane, the scripture that came to mind as I'm just coming out of this conference and all excited for what Jesus did was 2 Timothy 4, 2. Simply reads like this, preach the word of God, be prepared, whether the time is favorable or not. And I thought, oh, okay, that's kind of a cool verse. The Lord brought that to my mind. And I thought, well, the time was favorable. Then I sat down in my seat on the airplane. And I was just thinking about what God had just done. And a whole group of uh, university students came down the aisle. And sure enough, they all sat around me. I had two on this side and some behind me and across the aisle. And of course, one of the questions you ask when you're on an airplane is, so you know, are you here for business or pleasure? You know, what do you do? And the conversation unfolded where I shared, well, yeah, actually I'm a, a speaker. I actually am a Bible teacher. And I spoke all about Jesus at this women's conference. And they, these young people kind of looked at me and first I thought, oh, maybe the time is not favorable. But on the contrary, it was. Because they started asking, well, you know what? I'm a Hindu. I'm from India. The other person shared, well, I'm an agnostic. And I said, that's fantastic. Because if you're an agnostic, then you're at least asking questions, right? She kind of looked at me like, I guess so. And we just started, I started asking them about their life and experience. Do you know what the Bible says? And in just a simple way, I preached the word of God. Now, you see, a few hours before I was preaching on a platform, but here I am sitting in a seat on an airplane. And guess what? I'm preaching the word of God. See, it's not about your position of preaching. It's actually about the word of God. Preach is just to declare, tell. So all of us are preachers. You don't need a platform. You just need a seat on an airplane. So as we were, uh, they were telling me their life story, I shared the gospel in a very simple way and described to them who Jesus was because they didn't really know who Jesus was. I look over and there's a girl across the aisle waving at us throughout this whole thing. I soon realized she's trying to get our attention. So I said, yeah. And she said, I know Jesus. She said, I'm a Muslim. I was woken up in a dream. Jesus came to me in a dream and he, he told me who he was. And I then chose to follow Jesus. My whole life has been changed. Well, by this time, the whole group of university students are listening in. She's sharing her testimony. And by the way, she's now, she's traveling in this group. So together, I just said, praise God for what he's done. Jesus is real. Look at this young woman's story, how he changes lives. They were heading on a trip together. And I know that because of that encounter, because we preach the word of God, the time was favorable. She's going to have opportunity to continue to share the gospel with them as they travel. You don't need a platform. You just need a seat on an airplane, a seat across from someone at a restaurant, right across from your kitchen table. You too are called to preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. That's courageous living.